hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to filter find or search the data using multiple checkbox so guys, let's see an example for this so I have made over here where all the brand lists are present and all your brand items are present so let us filter according to this so over here you can see two redmi and two samsung and two iphone and more on right so let's filter red mi search for it you can see that product of three items and let's filter samsung let me just over here so guys this is how we are going to filter so guys now let's get started with it so first let's move to our code where is our file so guys we are using bootstrap file to design this user interface and now guys let's get started with this so this is my brand list heading over here and we want to fetch all the brand list first into a checkbox so for that let me just show you the database first let's move to our db and over here i have created one a brand table where all the list of the brands is present over here so let's fetch this into a text box for it so let's get back over here close and start first we have to give the database connection so let me just start with it php open php close and connection mysqli underscore connect function to connect your database where localhost username that is root the password is null and my db name is php tutorials so let me select copy and paste over here and now we have to write the query for it dollar query or you can tell dollar brand so whatever your brand query is equal to select star from table name so my table name is brands let's copy this and paste let's run this above statement dollar brand query underscore run is equal to with mysql like query function first give your database connection copy and pass that and then your statement so let's copy this and pass over here save and now guys we need to check if the record is existing or not so you can just check with the if condition let us give mysqli number of rows function if it is greater than zero then we need to check with that let's copy this paste if it's not there else you need to show with the echo no brands found and now over here let's use for each loop to loop all the data let's copy this and paste as dollar your brand list so let's copy and echo these values echo where brand item of what column you are going to echo that is a name name let's copy that and paste name and then guys you need to loop this in a checkbox so for that let's create a checkbox let me comment that and let's create one div tag so before creating you need to divide this php and then you have to create into this so let us create one simple div and inside this you have to create a checkbox input which will be checkbox name is equal to where you are going to select all the brand list or just tell brands brands where we are going to pass the array because we are going to store multiple data right and give the value where i want to store the value of the brand list of id we will store that so let me just php open is equal to and close php is equal to is a shortcut method to echo the data let's copy this brand list of your id id this is id is nothing but your primary key id over here let's get back and now let us 
echo this output same output so let's copy control x let's clear this where is equal to and close paste that let's remove this echo because we are using is equal to that means echo it save and let's check the output guys first get back refresh you can see the output of your all the list so now we need to check like when we click on this you need to search with that so let's add the forms for it so this is my submit button over here i am going to start the form form start and end where method is equal to will be get as simple let's cut this form control x and the div where closes over there we are going to clear with that let's i'll just show you over here see so this is how we are going to integrate this form let's give the submit button and then fetch all this details let's get back refresh now click on search you can see that question mark has come let's select this where brand with the id 1 select two two ids where brand 1 and 2 has come so guys now if it is come over here then you need to be checked with that so let's write the code for it let's move let's create those first we need to create one checked is equal to array so inside this array we will be keeping all your data of your brand list all the ids we are going to keep so before that we need to assign some things so let's use if condition where is set function and inside this dollar underscore get method where you are going to call your brands so let's copy this and paste over here that is nothing but this input field name okay so if it is set then you are going to pass over here paste and copy this get method value is equal to and store inside this so we will we have stored all the input i mean brand list ids over here so we are going to see in this input box so this is my tag start and this is the tag end over here so before this tag only we have to code so let me just give below and over here open php and close php let's use if condition with in array function in array where you are going to give the id and then your checked values so what id you are going to give from here your brand list id so brand list hive array of id where you are going to check the value so if it exists means you need to tell that echo as checked C H E C K E D. so checked means it will be the checkbox will be ticked so let us save and now let's see the output refresh you can see that it's checked so let me just uncheck with this and search you can see the value so guys, this is how we store with this and now guys let us fetch all the items that is nothing but your brand items and or you can call us products so over here you can see all the product is there where i have stored with the brand id values so now let's get started with this so let's fetch this first get back and this is my column md3 where this is my brand list let me just tell with that brand list and now your brand items which is products so let's give column md9 and inside this start the code about your fetching that brands create one simple card and then card body and inside this card body we are going to fetch the products so let's write the code open php sp and close php let's give dollar connection is equal to mysql i underscore connect okay we do not require we already gave that connection over here you can see that connection is already given so we'll be using this only let's get back and write the query so this will be my products 
so products is equal to where you are going to write the product query select star from your product table name so let's copy this and paste and now let's execute this let's paste run which will be mysql query function and first you need to get the connection so this connection is already given over here let's keep and now let's copy your query save and now guys check the condition if record exists or not so as simple we will copy this only let us get back with this copy and paste to save the time done let's re replace with this and now if it is success then use the for each loop for each where colon and end for each semicolon where inside this we are going to call it things so as as dollar product items we can tell this let's copy and echo this so before echoing let's divide this php and now inside this we will create one row not row direct column we have to create column md4 the row will be over here let's give row over here and now we have to echo this product items let me just echo that border dot p2 php is equal to and close product items of your column name so my column name is nothing but n a m in name so let's call that name save and see the output get back refresh you can see the perfect output has come guys let us just give a little space over here give margin top three and for this also three save cut and replace over here that's it so it's now let's filter according to this so when i click on this it should filter this data so for that let's start let's create a if condition if is set so what is set over here your get method of your brand if it is in the url then only come here we are going to tell so if it's coming then you are going to paste this in else condition this else condition will end over here that's it now if it is checked means what is checked over here so let me just tell you see right now we have checked three items right so let me just search over here you can see that three items is over here so let's first check that so for that let's create one uh, brand checked is equal to which i am going to assign that null and get all the items from there whatever it's stored into your url paste oops let's minimize with this and over here let's call the same variable and store inside this is equal to and now guys we need to loop and check over here because this has multiple data into this so let's use for each to check that over here as your row of brand okay row brand we will tell and in this you are going to check with that what and all it's stored so let me just echo with this and show you the output once echo and let us get back over here refresh you can see one two four because it is in order wise you can see that one two four value is stored so this is the id so according to this we are going to fetch all your records so let me just show over here so right now we didn't check anything all the product is fetched let me just select with mi over here you can see id number one so with this help of id we are going to fetch all the records let's comment this and copy your same query what you have written over here and paste 
and make few changes inside this in your query so let's type where your what id you are going to fetch from the products table we have stored this brand id into our product table over here so this is my brand ids so let's copy this column name brand id brand underscore id where you are going to in use in and inside this in you are going to call your row of brand so copy and paste that's it so this only this few change let's save and check the output guys let's come back refresh you can see that three red my brands has come let's select with the samsung where you can fetch samsung values too let's uncheck this mi and again you can see samsung let's move on with all the fields you can fill c so it's no item found no item found it's repeating this because we have we don't have for some details for this so it's showing that rokia we don't have okay so for this you can just skip this value which is shown over here so just remove this else condition refresh and you can see that let us select with this and check you can see that is also not showing so guys in this video that's it we have completed how to filter or find search data using multiple checkbox in php so this was an example of product items search by brands so guys thank you once again please subscribe like and share